following lecture was produced by Glorian Publishing, a nonprofit organization, and is one of hundreds of lectures freely available via download, podcasts, streaming radio, and transcription. These lectures range in topic and complexity in order to address the many needs of humanity. We invite you to browse our library of lectures, books, courses, and articles to find teachings that suit you. Through the support of donations, Glorian Publishing has published 40 books, hosts international retreats several times a year, offers free online courses, and many other valuable resources, available to anyone worldwide. All of this has been made possible by the financial support of listeners like you. Your donations make it possible for this free public service to reach thousands of people every day. To make a tax-deductible donation in any amount, even anonymously, visit GnosticTeachings.org. Now, with heartfelt wishes for the end of suffering for all creatures, we begin the lecture. May all beings be happy. I advise you to read the Bhagavad Gita. It was precisely the conversation of Arjuna and Krishna uh, before the battle. Read it carefully before you, we see the third part. Because as you see there, it's a lot to talk about, right? It's beautiful. So, Are you, uh, you have questions, you can ask, and we will try to give a brief explanation, right? According to our understanding. Yeah? Can we talk about Shiva's journey to the, uh, to the north? Uh, not, not Shiva, uh, Arjuna's journey to the north. Why does he, why does he fight with Shiva, and um, well, why does he lose his uh, his virility on that on that journey? In the, the well, uh, uh, yeah, that's a good question about Arjuna. Yeah. Remember that Arjuna is the the twin soul. I mean, uh, the human the human soul, the human soul Yeah, the North is the top of the tree of life to Shiva, to Shiva. exactly the Holy, the Holy Spirit is because uh, I mean the human soul is the only one that can have uh, uh, or they have the the worth of going up it's part of the monad right and uh, even though uh, his other parts or the part of the human soul are both lapped within the ego and that's precisely the, the mystery of the human soul to liberate the rest of Israel which is the same is like Moses going to the top of Sinai and talking with God right Moses talked to Jehovah Elohim Bina which is the same Shiva because in the end uh, Shiva is the father of all of them you remember that the same actor that is playing Shiva there was the actor that was the king. Okay? And he's the father of the, of the five of them through the gods. In other words, he has the mystery of alchemy, right? And when he is uh, fighting or gaining something there in superior worlds, of course, uh, Shiva says, uh, it's his mind. In other words, before we as human soul do something Shiva did it already ahead because without Shiva we cannot we have no power right and he says this boar is mine is uh, I shoot it first even though the arrow that killed the boar was Arjuna's arrow but that arrow is the same strength of uh, Shiva it's, it's a good mystery there and he is the one that gives him the power that uh, they call it Pashubata, which is the power 
to kill that we already know. There it is hidden. Well, the, the power of Pashuvata is the power of killing with the sexual force. We, we utilize that force in different ways. People, as we said in other lectures, people utilize the power of Yesod, which is the red horse, power in the tongue, you see the mantra, in order to, to do evil to others. But, the, but Arjuna is using it against the ego. Hmm? <coughs> and this is why uh, we had to, is what we had to do. In order to understand the, the, the work that we had to perform against ourselves, really, that's why it's good to read, uh, we advise uh, to read the Bhagavad Gita. Because uh, the whole book teaches you why do we have to do what we have to do. To kill our relatives. And who are those relatives? Oh, inside of us. We love ourselves too much. Right? We always uh, uh, complain about our sufferings. The Master Samael says, for instance, in one of his lectures, People sacrifice many things, but they are not willing to sacrifice their own sufferings. We always whining. I, the suffer too much. I, this, this, that, that I is so strong that Arjuna, even Arjuna says, my resolution is dead. I don't want to fight against that, right? And this is precisely what I, what, what I told you in the beginning. One refuses to fight against that. It's me. Right? What I feel, my love, my self-love. You see, go in the outside world, among all of those psychiatrists and psychologists, they advise the people to love themselves. Lo love yourself. No. In this doctrine, we have to hate ourselves. But not just a hate like hate that we know. It's, it's comprehension and to realize that we have to die. But if we had too much self-esteem, it's not easy. And self-esteem is something that we had to fight all the time. Pride, vanity, that is very strong in all of us. And that's why uh, to be passive is not good. Right? It's like Arjuna refusing sexual magic, right? To become like a woman. Celibacy is positive, but certain limit. In a certain moment, whether Darajuna isn't a woman or a man, he needs sexual magic in order to defeat, right? Don't give up to your virility. means don't refuse like the monks, right? Yes? Well, uh, uh, one is the one that taught them how to fight, right? I didn't see the first part. Oh, well, and then the, you have to see it. You didn't see the first part? You didn't come last Saturday? Or the 15 days ago? Okay, and then you have to see it. Because otherwise it's, it's long. You have to watch that first. And then to understand. The question that we answer now is just about the second disc, not the first. We, we already answered that, and it's recorded. So another question? Who is the son of Bhima? Is that the soul of God? The son of Bhima, or the... When it, yes. Well, that's something that we have to meditate about. Because remember that Bhima is a physical, physical force, right? And uh, the negative forces that are in nature, when you transform them, you can uh, uh, create something there in, in, in the internal worlds. Matthew Samael said in one of his uh, lectures, for instance, or his books, 
that uh, one needs to learn how to perform magic. Hmm? Remember that uh, the son of Vima says, I live in the magical world, which is out of this world. Well, one needs to learn magic. And the triangle of magic is Netzar, Hod, and Yesod. Right? You remember that, right? Sexual magic, natural magic, and hermetic magic. But also we had to learn the magic in Klipoth. And for that we need to be very straight. Right? Because the Bodhisattva always mingle with the darkness. Remember that Jesus was teaching among the prostitutes, among the drunkards and, and sinners, which live in, Klip in Klipoth. And for that we need to learn the magic of Klipoth. And that is precisely the son of Bhima. When, but uh, for that we need to leave the prejudices. Or prejudice, that's how you call it. Huh? Prejudice. prejudice. We had to leave that and to learn that. But without doing evil. Huh? Master talks in Kabbalah about certain magicians that learn that uh, among the in Klipas, and they sometimes think that they are black magicians, but there are many infernal gods in Klipas that help the lost ones. Another question? The pond, I, well, it's very easy to see that is Yasad. Is Yasad, is a lake. Remember that uh, uh, when we talk about miracles and wisdom, we always talk about the matter, Jesus always taught the doctrine close to a lake, right? Or the sea. And uh, we find that uh, all the power he showed in the Bible, that he showed, is, uh, for, for instance, walking on the waters of the Sea of Galilee, or that lake. Hmm? And all the five uh, brothers are related with that force. To drink from that water, you have wisdom. But you know, you have to learn how to drink it. The only one that uh, gives the answers to all the things is Eurystheus, which is the king, which is a very... Uh, his very kingdom is Yasad. In other words, not just, not just drink from the sexual energy, meditate and inquire, develop wisdom. Now, this is what Dharma, the father of uh, Eurystheus, is teaching. It's not just that like people think, oh, just sexual magic, and they said, no, you have to meditate. And that's precisely the problem of many Gnostics in this day and age. That they think are just by being chased and practicing sexual magic, and this is it. And some, uh, there are groups that are very stupid. That they think that meditation is not necessary. Because this other man taught them that uh, just asking the Divine Mother by annihilation, kill me, Divine Mother, during the time it's called a march or dead march. This is very stupid. How are you going to develop wisdom? This is precisely there the, 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 in, the, in the very face, you know, of the lake. That this is, answer my questions first. No, they want to drink. Answer my question, and they drink. Right? Only him, because he's a bodhicitta. You developed. And he answered very wisely all the questions. It is now that the rest of your bodies or your brothers can go alive. Because it's through, through that bodhicitta, that the consciousness expand in all the bodhisattva of the tree of life, right? Hod, Netzah, Tifereth, and everything come alive. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a, a beautiful uh, teach, teaching there that we had to, to learn. In the leg. Right? Now the rest of the other guys, they just won the kingdom by their own whim. Right? And uh, as I said, read the Bhagavad Gita. 
More questions? Yeah? Uh, karma yoga. Yes, well, we're talking here. Action. Right? It's not just uh, what people think. Uh, uh, entering into this path, and you know, I believe, uh, is what other people say, I believe in the Master Samael on the earth. And I, and, and I answer to this person, so what? And if you don't believe in him, so what? This is not, I believe in this man, or I believe not. Right? Oh, but all, all the people criticize him, so what? Criticize him. Doesn't matter. And a lot of Gnostics are uh, uh, now in other groups defending the Master Samael. He doesn't need to be defended. You know? He, <laughs> he's just a master. He's just a, a being there that resurrected. Why we need to defend him? What we need is to spread the knowledge so that people can learn this in themselves. Because you don't do the work in yourself. Whether you kneel there and say, I love Master Samael on board with all of my heart. So what? You will go down there to Klippoth if you don't do the work that you have to do. And this is precisely what the people still doesn't, don't understand. You know what I mean? Action. Right? That's precisely the point here. Action. If you do something, if you die on the process, you keep working yourself in, in the, the White Lodge, will support you, help you. But if you don't do nothing, they will do nothing to you. Yeah. And this is the, the, the mystery of this uh, Mahabharata, which is the great war, or the great warrior. Yeah? Can you say anything about the exchange that Karna had with the guards where he gave his golden breastplate for a spear? Well, Karna is the son of the sun, right? And is that part that plays there with the ego? That he needs to be there because if he is not there, the other uh, part will not have uh, uh, strength. There will no wisdom there. Temptation is necessary. Yeah. So Karna is there as a tempter. Even though, you, as you see here, he know now that he is the son of the same woman. But he preferred to be there because he's his job. And he said, and Krishna says to him, we will, we will encounter each other in other times. And it's true. Yeah. Everything because, uh, you know, uh, I mean, Lucifer, in other words, has power. It's the same power, right? But there are rules in the war. And Lucifer only obeys the superior, obeys God. Okay? In this kind, of Krishna. But even Krishna respects him because he needs him there in the battle in order to to make of that bodhisattva uh, an archangel. Mm -hmm. Because everything is already there, but uh, it depends. Do, as a question later says, you, do you already know who is going to win? And, and Vyasa, right? The artist says, oh, who knows? You know, because sometimes people enter into this path and they leave. Right? There's always free will. Those that to see that stay there until the end, those are the ones that win. Remember that I fallen angels. And about uh, 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 fallen angels, let me let me show you something there. Because uh, in the last lecture, I, I just show you. Uh, One of those fallen angels uh, that uh, could be, how, how you call this man? Yudhastana. How is it? Shudastana. I don't know the name. No, the, 
the the one that is really very bad because I won't give even the tip of a needle, <laughs> the, right? Shusast, Shusast, Shusastana, I don't know. Is that is that those names are Sanskrit names? Very difficult to to Shusastana, Shusastana, something like that. Huh? The thing is that here I, is a is a Shusastana could be also. I mean, it's part of the ego, right? But could be also a demon, fallen angel. And here is what I found, you see. No, Shusastana, Shusastana, something like that. Uh, yeah, read that, you see. Here is, here is, there. This is Moloch. Yeah. Last time we uh, show, I show you that, we read it, but now I found the, precisely the, the graphic of uh, Paradise Lost. Dushastana. Dushastana. This is Dushastana. Evil will in any one of us. That evil will, the one to be king by their own whim. Uh, I want to be this, and they, and they think that they will. You see what Moloch says there? This is from John Milton. And, uh, of course, he has there a face of a king and other parts around his neck. Because he's a fighter. And uh, this is what we had to defeat also within What? Brother and sister. Brother and sister. Yeah. A brother, and sister, a siblings, siblings. Yeah. Remember them, the master faces and living in the forest, the desert kingdom. And then she comes into a beautiful woman that goes with the big strong guy. Remember the brother and sister that came out of the woods? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The brother and I, I, We talk about that already. We were talking about that. No, not the son. He makes the son. Who the son was. But they're obviously the forces of the earth. I know. The sister and the brother that come like lions. They are disguised as lions because they, they roar. Of all the strength. It's the strength of the earth. The, the very fire of the earth. They are capable of destroying, killing anybody, right? Is this a force of the earth that is killing everybody here? People are abusing sex, the strength of the earth, and they are killing each other no, with different disease. Right? Yeah. If you kill my brother, I can uh, be with you, right? The this, this, this strength of the earth. Both are the, the two polarities, right? And of course, by knowing how to transmute all of those forces, we conquer and we acquire power, as I said, in Klippos, which is the sun. Power about darkness. What the Master says is lunar forces that informs you about the movements of the enemy within you. So, are you enjoying the, this is precisely what humanity is enjoying now, more luck. So, this is it. To learn more about what you learned in this lecture, we invite you to explore the books published by Glorian Publishing, available from booksellers worldwide. You may also be interested in online courses or upcoming retreats, all of which you can learn about at GnosticTeachings.org. All of this has been made possible by the financial support of listeners like you. Will you help others to benefit from this knowledge? 
Most spiritual schools recommend a donation of $10 to $20 per lecture. Every donation helps. Make a donation now at GnosticTeachings.org. Thank you. May all beings be happy. Thank you.